Hello and welcome back to Zen Doodle with Anjali. It's great to see you. Today I want to share a flower that I made and uh, I named it after my beautiful daughter Daisy May. So this flower is called Daisy May. Now I made a video and you can refer to that video right here. There's a little eye that will show up here that will link you to that video on uh, five point flowers and how to make them in perspective. So let's start out again. We start out like a uh, drawing a star and you could make an imaginary line and make your little points there and then come up, make imaginary line over there and imaginary line over here and find your center. So now let's draw our lines. Kind of looks like a peace sign with arms. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. Isn't it gorgeous out? I, I don't know where you are while you're watching this, but whether it's sunny or raining, the sun is always shining. It's just sometimes the clouds cover it. Okay, so now, most generally when people are drawing flowers they go up around this line and and we're not going to do that today we're going to go in between so in each v we're going to make a little loop Okay, beautiful. Now, got that a little too close. We want to keep these little lines in here for now. So let's kind of bring those out a little bit, get them centered. Okay. Next thing we want to do is in between these petals, we want to draw a heart. And that kind of connects the petals together. Okay, now we've got that. Do I need to bring you in a little closer? Let's see. How's that? Is that better? All right. Next, we are going to make our little curly cues. And those are coming out of the center of each heart. Make sure I'm staying in view of the camera, huh? Okay, so now that we've got those done, let's go into these and draw little diamonds. You see, my little girl, she's a diamond in the rough. That's how I view her. She's not little, she's grown. She's got six children, six boys, and, and they're all growing up. So she's always gonna be my little girl though. How many other mothers feel like that? They're always your little baby. No matter what age they are, they're, they're just our babies. And we love them so. 
Let's clean this one up a little bit. There. And now we've got those in there. Now, let me go ahead and ink this in so we can erase some lines here. And um, let's see, I want to use number two. It's sticking out there. So, let's just, can you see me okay? All right. Now, we don't want to draw that line in the middle, okay? We're going to erase that. We're just going to add the heart in there. And pardon the noise, I've got my windows open. It's such a nice day. Okay, let's go in here. Get rid of those lines from the pencil. Look at that. Let me bring you in a little bit so you can get a good close-up shot of that. All right, next. We're going to put little circles where each heart connects with the petal.
and there we have Daisy May. I do hope you enjoy this. Now you don't have to black out the flowers. Let me show you my pencil draft of this um, when I made it. If you want to, you can just lightly shade the hearts in with a pencil instead. Now I didn't do much in the way of, of shading. I could have did this a little bit better here, but there's what it looks like in pencil form and what it looks like in ink form. I do so hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click the subscribe button that's down below. Beside it, tap the notification icon, bell, then tap all and leave a comment if there's anything else that you'd like to see on this channel. All right, thank you and have a super fantabulous day. This is Anjali. Peace.